Okay, so someone asked me the other day uh, about transferring from a Sony digital camera to uh, a mobile phone or a tablet. Now, you can use uh, either an iPhone or an Android phone, uh, and you're looking for the app uh, which is on either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Uh, and if you just type in Sony camera, uh, the book will tell you to download, or possibly the book, depending on when it came out, will tell you to download Play Memories Online or Play Memories Mobile. Uh, and that no longer works. So what you have to use is Imaging Edge Mobile, uh, which is this one uh, on iOS. But I'll do the Android one, uh, because at the moment the iOS one uh, has been uh, ruined by iOS 13. And uh, there is a little fix. I'll put a link in the description for the Reddit fix, but I'll show it working with Android. So you can see here, if you type in Sony Camera, Imaging Edge Mobile comes up, and you can start that, that app. But what we need to do first of all is go into settings. We need to turn on our camera. Uh, and if you press the play symbol, it will turn on your camera without opening the lens, which means that it uses less battery. And it just means that you, you can leave the camera nice and flat like this. So along the settings, you can see I'm on the sort of play symbol, uh, page one of that. And you can see that it says send to smartphone. So I'll click OK, press down, select on smartphone. So now it's putting it into Wi-Fi mode. Uh, and you can see on here that uh, it's got a Wi-Fi name of Direct e 4 c one and the name of the camera, and then a password. And that's the important bit. So we go to Wi-Fi, because uh, what we're doing is we're connecting directly to the Wi-Fi on the camera. So uh, there it is. Tap on that and hit Connect. You may need to put a password in. I've already put the password in, but it was that password on the previous screen. Once you've done that, your phone might give you an error message saying it's not connected to the internet because basically, like that, it's getting all its uh, connections from the actual camera itself. Now if we go back into the Imaging Edge mobile app, fingers crossed we should be able to see our camera. You can see it's connecting. There we go. And so that's showing me all the photos that are on the camera. So at the moment, there's three photos on the camera. You could pick one photo, two or three, or all photos, and then transfer it to the device. You can also do this with video as well. Uh, it works absolutely fine. Now, I personally don't tend to use this app, uh, and that's because I do a lot of videoing on this camera. Uh, and when I transfer, it takes quite a long time over Wi-Fi. You can see with photos, it's super quick. Uh, and you could view those photos and play around with them and, and do all sorts of things with it. So, so that's great. But what we'll do is we'll go back to my iPhone. And the way that I do it, uh, well, I actually use my iPad for this. But I can turn my device off. And I've made the mistake of leaving this in Wi-Fi mode. And the camera goes completely flat because obviously it uses loads of power. Uh, but if I take out, I've got a little micro SD card in my camera. So you can see that's a micro SD card into the official Apple camera adapter. You can get a bigger version of this, which supplies power, but with this adapter, it works absolutely fine. And I'll put a link in the description on it. So if I plug that in, turn on my camera, turn on my phone rather, uh, and you'll be able to see, uh, well, let's screen record this as well so you can see it better. And you didn't used to be able to do this before iOS 13, but now with iOS 13, you have a proper file management app. Uh, so this is plugged directly in as if I would do it into a computer. Uh, if I go to Browse, uh, you can see that it comes up and it's called Untitled. So we click on the USB and all the photos are in the DCIM folder and you can tap on that and then you can select them uh, and then you can move them to anywhere on the phone uh, or the iPad or whatever you're using it on. But it works a lot quicker and it especially works quicker on video and the video would appear in the MP root and 100 ANV uh, 01 folder. So you would show, your videos would show here and it's just a much quicker way of transferring it over with this official Apple adapter using uh, the micro SD card uh, that you can use in your camera with one of these adapters uh, and uh, it's just my preferred way of doing it. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, it was mainly to show you about the uh, Play Memories app not working and show you the Alterna app which actually works fine. Uh, it's just not currently with iOS 13 unless you do a little fix uh, and as I say I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.